My friends, my name is Anna, and I am really excited to be here. Good afternoon, girls and boys. I'm Rob, and I'm from Zoolab now today. I come to you from my fantastic animal room. Right, well, hello, girls and boys. My name is Georgie. It's lovely to see you all joining us today. Thank you very much for coming along. Uh, today, we are going to be doing a session where there are animals involved. We are going to see some animals, so it's very exciting. And it fits with our summer reading challenge theme. The first animal we're going to look at happens to be my awesome snake. Let's get him out. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Come on out, we've got tons of kids who want to see you. OMG, this is awesome. Here we go, everyone has a look at this. Guys, here in my hand is my awesome corn snake and his name is Franklin. So everyone say, hi Franklin. Hi Franklin, how are you? This is Terry. Look at that. Now I want to give you some close-ups of Franklin. So let's see his face, whoa. He is doing something super silly with his tongue. Can you see that? Guys, he's, he's actually not being silly, not like us if we stick our tongues out. Franklin is smelling with his tongue. He's giving you a nice smell. Let's see if he can smell the camera. Go on, Franklin. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow, look at that tongue. Now you'll notice on the end of that tongue, it's forked. It goes in two directions on the very end. Well, remember he smells with it, you guys have got two nostrils. You can smell that way and that way. He's got two prongs on the end of his tongue. He just does it a bit differently to you, that's all. Let's look at his lovely scales. Fabulous scales to help protect his skin. Now guys, Franklin is really cool. You can see him moving in my hands. He's using his muscles to move. So really quick, can I just see your guys' muscles? Let me see those big muscles. Yeah, oh yeah, yes my friends, well done. Now Franklin uses his muscles to move, but he also uses his muscles to eat. So just for fun, I wanna see if you can eat like a snake. So I'm gonna pop Franklin on my lap. See, everyone do what I do. When Franklin is hungry, he wraps his body around his food. Can you wrap your arms around your body? And he squeezes really tight. Everyone give yourself a tight squeeze. And then he opens his mouth up really big. Who can open up their mouth the biggest? Let me see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and he takes one giant bite. <sighs> Just like that. Now I want you to open your mouth as wide as you can. Go. I've been trying this for months, guys. I can't open my jaw any wider than that because I found out it's joined by bone here. But his is joined by stretchy bits, a bit like an elastic band, which means he can open it up super, super wide, really, really wide and open some, eat something much bigger than his head. I guess it's a bit like you opening up your head to your shoulders and eating five watermelons whole. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to hurt, actually. Yeah, don't try it. And he's super duper long. So I'm going to show you how long Franklin is. Let's see if I can get him all in the shot. I, I actually can't. That's how long he is. I'm going to show you my lovely, lovely little girl. Her name is Time. Here she is. This is my gorgeous, gorgeous little fancy rat. She's very, very friendly as this little girl. She's only eight months old, so she's only a little tiny baby. Aren't you? Gorgeous. Now, rats are incredible, incredible creatures. These guys outnumber humans two to one on the planet. So for every person, there's two rats. Rats are incredibly, incredibly smart creatures. Where are you going, Tyne? Are you coming up here on my shoulder? Come on. No? Okay. How about we tell the children about it if you come up? So rats are incredibly, incredibly smart creatures. These guys have been domesticated since the Victorian times. They've been domesticated for many, many different things. These guys, for pulling wires into buildings. OMG, okay, let me get back to my screen. Here we go. Mm, everyone have a look at this, guys. Here in my hand is my beautiful gerbil, and her name is Sam. So everyone say, hey, Sam. Hi, Sam. 
Good morning. How are you? Hi, Sam. Sam. Oh, well done, my friends. Guys, Sam is super cool. So she lives in the desert, and it's way too hot to be uh, to live in the desert. So Sam's got to go somewhere to stay cool. And in fact, she likes to tunnel underneath the ground. Whoa, Sam. Whoa, the camera's over there. Wait a second. Wait a second. Come here. There we are. Okay, there we go. Excuse me. Thank you. Come here. There we are. She's back. She wanted to go for a little run there, boys and girls. Wait a, guy. Wait a second, guys. Today I saw a snail in my garden. It was really awesome, but it was a tiny baby snail. Smaller than my pinky nail. This snail I have to show you is a giant African snail. Let's see what he looks like. Whoa. Hi, boy. Oh, hello, buddy. Oh my gosh, he's beautiful. <gasps> you guys are gonna love him. Everyone have a look this holy moly in my hand is my amazing giant african snail and his name is gary <laughs> everyone say hi gary 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 wait a second wait a second wait a second I see something happening. Do you see what's coming out of the top of his shell? His head. His head. He's waking up. He heard you guys calling his name, so he's waking up. And Gary has 10,000 teeth. I want to make his face. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. I know. And look, he's really coming out of his shell today. Hello, 10,000 teeth. How does he brush them all? Oh boy, that's brush. a good point. It would take him tons of time to brush his teeth, but his teeth are different than ours. Have you got your best smiles on? Because he's going to be smiling right back at you. Are you ready? Meet Jeremy. Isn't he cute? I know. Look at that smile. In my box is my beautiful tree frog, and her name is Jenny. So everyone say, hey, Jenny. 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 Pancake. Pancake tends not to jump. This guy tends to walk around. And that is pretty much it. What he'll do is he'll walk around. He'll find a nice muddy spot where he can dig himself down. And he'll sit with just his eyes poking out the ground. That's a pretty cool thing to do, isn't it? Just your eyes poking out the ground. He waits for his food to come along. He doesn't move. He waits until his food's close enough. And then, does anybody know what he uses to catch his food? What does he use? He uses his big, long tongue. Jenny eats in a really funny way. She catches insects with her tongue like this. Mm -hmm. Really fast. Can you try that? Oh, dude, that was really good. I see some of my friends doing it really good. Mm -hmm. Really fast. Can everyone shoot out a big long tongue with me? Everyone go. Like that. Go. And now bring it back in. Now look at those amazing eyes. He uses those amazing eyes to help him see as best he can at night time. Now, as well as that, he does something weird with his eyes. He swallows his dinner with his eyes. Yes, you heard me right. He swallows his dinner with his eyes. So what he does, guys, he eats bugs. Okay, he grabs his bug, he pulls it into his mouth, but then you'll see him do this with his eyes. Oh, he's naughty. He's so naughty. He does this with his eyes, okay? He rolls his great big eyes and that pushes the bug from his mouth to his belly. He swallows with his eyes. Oh, how cool is that? All frogs do that. They swallow with their eyes. Let's look at his sticky feet. See those pads? They're super sticky. He's thinking of jumping again. They're super sticky. And that's how he holds on tight. Now, what else can I tell you about him that's a bit weird? Well, he drinks through his belly. Yes, you heard me right on that as well. What he does is when he's sat in water, he doesn't bend his head down to take a slurp like most animals would. He just sits there and he absorbs it through his skin. Now, should we all say goodbye to Pancake and we'll pop him away? Yeah? And we'll meet someone else. 
and you say bye pancake give everyone a little wave give everyone a little wave there you go give them a little wave yeah thank you there we go it's got eight legs yeah you guessed it it's a spider but it's no ordinary spider oh no it's one of those slightly bigger ones about the size of my hand begins with a ta tarantula you've got it a tarantula everyone have a oh don't walk off girl a look at this whoa guys here on my log is my beautiful tarantula who really wants to escape today this is buttercup everyone say hi buttercup hello buttercup you're so cute She's so cute, isn't she? Wow, she's so beautiful. Look at all that hair. Look, she's holding her legs down like this. She's just chilling on this log. I've brought along my gorgeous little girl called Bellatrix. And Bellatrix, well, she's a Costa Rican curly-haired tarantula. Now, she's not as pretty as the tarantula in the book, but don't tell her that. This is Bellatrix. There she is. Now, Bellatrix here is just a small type of tarantula. Some tarantulas can grow up to 30 centimetres, up to as big as a dinner plate. She is really hairy, super hairy. She doesn't need a razor. Those hairs are there for a reason, OK? She is huge, Tracy. She is huge, yes, but she's not the biggest tarantula. No. She's actually, in the tarantula world, she's fairly small. <gasps> the biggest tarantula is 30, is 30 centimetres long. That goes from my wrist to my elbow. That's 30 centimetres, OK? From my wrist to my elbow. Wow. That's called a Goliath bird-eating tarantula. And do you find that in Brazil? The moral of that story is don't go to Brazil, OK? I'm joking, okay? There's lots of reasons that you should go to Brazil if you get the opportunity when you're older. Now, Buttercup is super cool. I'm gonna have to turn this a little bit because it looks like she wants to go on to the underside. All right, Buttercup, go on, sweet girl. Go on. Whoa, that's cool. Now, guys, she's got hair all over her body and Buttercup uses her hair to feel. This is how she knows where her food is. But not only that, she even uses her hair to smell. So everyone go. <laughs> Not only that, she even uses her hair to taste. Everyone say, yum. <laughs> She's got eight eyes. Eight legs, eight eyes. Would you like to know how many knees she's got? Yeah. She's got 48 knees. She's got six knees on each leg. I want you all to imagine you are a tarantula and I want you to point to what part of your body you think your web would come out of if you were a tarantula. You may need to step away from the computer so I can see all of you. Okay, point to what part of your body you think your web would come out of if you were a tarantula. So Ethan is pointing to hands. So she doesn't really have hands. Does you mean like have feet, Ethan, at the end of her feet on her eight legs? Okay, so on her legs. Okay, that's what Ethan's thinking. Uh, what else do we have? Got anybody else? Or maybe if you haven't got your camera on, if you want to type the chat. So we've got at the front, Matt has put, I'm going to politely say what you've put, Matt. We're going to say Matt has put bottom. Okay. Uh, Tracy has put mouth. Okay. So we've got a big variety. We've got mouth, legs, bottom. Yeah, it is <clears throat> her bottom. Okay. The technical word we're going to use is her abdomen. Okay, on the very end, let's turn you around, Rosie. On the very end, can you see those brown things sticking up on the end? Two things there. They are her spinnerets. She spins her silk from her spinnerets. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. So, Buttercup is called a rose tarantula. Isn't that beautiful? A rose tarantula? Guys, she's called that because when she grows up, Buttercup is going to turn pink. I'm serious. She is going to be a pink spider with a pink back. Girl, I look at Jessica's face. I know. A pink back and pink teeth. Wouldn't you love to have a pink back and pink teeth? I know I would. Oh, she's giving us all a little wave there. Did you see that? Yeah, look at that. Being very nice today, aren't you, Bellatrix? 
you're being very lovely. Can I have a high five? This one? Thank you very much. Aren't you gorgeous? Yes, you are. Love you too. This is Twinkle Toes. Look at that. Wow. Now look at all of those legs. Imagine having to wear socks and shoes on all those legs. Be late for school every day, wouldn't she? Late for school every day. But I think she would be a fabulous footballer because let's take a look at all of her legs. Wow, look at all those legs. Let's turn you around, Twinkle Toast, so we can see your head. There we go, great shot of her head there. Those two things on the top are her antennae, and they are for feeling and smelling. Now, do you think, guys, do you think she's got a backbone inside her? Put your hand in the middle of your neck at the back. See if you can find your backbone. It goes all the way down your back, and it stops just above your bottom. It does, it goes all the way down your back and it stops just above your bottom. Do you think she's got one of those? What do we think? Griffin said no. What are our other thoughts? So the Melbourne's going, no, she doesn't have one of those. She doesn't have one of those. She doesn't have a backbone inside her. Uh, Griffin's name's too bendy, too bendy. So, well, let's take a look. She is bendy for sure. Now I'm gonna touch her on the outside. She feels really hard really really hard now i want you to touch you on the outside do you feel really hard well it's hard inside but i'm a bit squidgy on the outside i've got to say i'm a bit squidgy especially when i get to my belly it's very squidgy there okay so yeah a bit squidgy and that's because we're hard on the inside and soft on the outside we've got our skeleton inside us and our skin is on the outside. Her skeleton is on the outside. That's why when I touch her, she feels really hard. So that word exoskeleton, I want you to cross your arms like this. Make an X and then an O and we'll do it quickly. Exo, exo, exoskeleton, exoskeleton. Now the word exoskeleton actually begins with an EX, just like was written in the chat. But it's still a good way to remember it. Get it in your head. Exoskeleton. Skeleton on the outside in insects. Okay. So, Maverick, this little guy, his legs move in a Mexican way. They move all the way from the bottom of him, right the way up to his head. There you go. You can see his lovely wiggly legs there. Now, when he sits on your hand, it feels a lot like Velcro moving around. It feels a lot like Velcro moving around on your hand. It's quite sticky. That's to help Maverick get around in the rainforest, to help him climb up and get to the dead leaves that he wants to eat. Okay, huge question I have to ask. Who likes chocolate? I think every single hand went up then, every single hand, including mine, yeah. I think we all like chocolate. Wait, when you go and buy your chocolate bar, it doesn't just come from the factory down the road, okay? It comes from the main ingredient and it comes from right the other side of the world in the rainforest because the main ingredient in your chocolate is cocoa beans. And cocoa beans come from the cacao plant, is what it's called, which comes from the rainforests. So think about that when you're eating your chocolate bar, quite happily sat in the comfort of your lounge and watching TV. That's come all the way from the other side of the world so you can sit there and eat your chocolate bar. This next animal likes to eat lots of foods. It's my beautiful Madagascar hissing cockroach. Let's get him out. Oh, yes. Okay. Here. Cockroaches. Yes, I ain't cockroaches. Right. And like hiss. Oh boy. Which one wants to come out today? We'll use the bigger one. Hello, big boy. Oh, this is gonna be a big one. Oh, awesome. Everyone have a look at this. Guys, he's the size of my hand. Have you ever seen a cockroach bigger than this? This is crazy. Yes. You've seen some bigger than this? Okay, well, yeah, he's pretty big still. <laughs> oh, and Jessica says she loves bugs. That's so nice. I love bugs as well. A lot of people don't really like them, but I think that they're really, really cool. So guys, I'm gonna show you underneath my cockroach because this is where his head is. 
There it is. Oh gosh. And he's got these two lovely long antenna coming out. So my friends, my cockroach here in my hand is my beautiful cockroach and his name is Philippe. So <laughs> everyone say bonjour Philippe. Bonjour Philippe. Oh, very nice accents my friend. This is Mike. Wow, look at that. He's a Madagascan hissing cockroach. Look at that. These guys are amazing. Amazing creatures. Are you going to turn around for the camera, Fred? Or show everyone your face there we go. Look at how pretty he is. Yeah. There we go. He's giving you all a little wave with his antennae there. Are you giving them all a little wave? Give them all a little wave. There you go. Look at that. You're you're showing off today. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's lovely. What do you think Philippe would eat? What could this animal eat? I have no idea. Leaves? Oh, he could eat leaves. I could feed him some leaves from outside. Smart one. What else could he eat? Tomatoes. Yes. Tomatoes. Oh, he would love a good tomato, definitely. Leftover food. Leftover food? Wait a second. My friend was saying leftover food. So could I feed him pizza? No. You don't think so, guys? Philippe yeah. loves pizza. Everyone say yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, wait a second. Because it's the summer and we like to have fun in summer, I want to ask you, do you think he would eat something that we all love to eat in summer? Like um, ice cream? No. You don't think so? That's silly, isn't it? Well, no. guys, Philippe no. loves ice cream. Everyone say double yes. Double yes. <laughs> now, Philippe yes. is awesome. What a cool little int. And well done for sitting in my hand. Sit. So he likes to eat garbage. Sick. Come on, Philippe. I'm trying to like you. He likes to eat dirty socks. Oh, cheese. Yeah, stinky cheese. He also likes to eat glue and paper. And I hate, I know, and I hate to tell you this, my friends, but in the wild, he will even eat poop. Oh! That's kind of funny. That's this is a great story, great animal, great questions. Should we say goodbye to our millipede, who's a fabulous recycler? She could be our role model because of all that recycling she does. We'll give her a wave. And look at all those legs. Okay, guys, one more look at that beautiful tree frog. Oh, she's got a cute face. She's got it. Oh, and I think that's her saying she's done with the camera. Everyone say bye, Jenny. Bye, Jenny. Bye, Jenny. Everyone say bye, Franklin. See you later, Jeremy. Thank you for the entertainment. Oh, it's like he was waving then. Thank you for the entertainment. You've been great entertainment. On my screen again, more screen wipes. I'm gonna go through them like there's no tomorrow. So everyone say, bye, Sam. Sam. Bye, Sam. So everyone say, bye, Buttercup. Bye, Buttercup. Buttercup, you're, you're really cute. Oh, thank you. You're really, did you hear that, Buttercup? You're really cute. We really like you. You're so beautiful. Thank you very much for joining us today. I've loved seeing you all. Some great questions. I hope it's inspired you to get outside and do a buck hunt or to go out there and help the wildlife outside by doing little things, by making uh, a bug hotel or putting a wildlife pond in, putting a washing up bowl in your garden with some water in it and some plants in it and seeing what happens. Uh, all good things to help our environment. You're very welcome. Thank you, Kent Libraries, for the help today. I'm going to say goodbye and uh, thank you very much.